Hi, this is Dr. Todd Kayes, mental coach, uh, coming to you from my office in the golf room. And the thing I want to talk about today is honesty. Now, you may not think that has anything to do with golf. What does that have to do with my golf game? Well, it has everything to do with your golf game. And truly, in the bigger picture, it has everything to do with your life and the success you're going to have in, in your life. Okay? And so, one of the things that I see is that honesty is one of the most important traits that we need to become our best player and, and really our best person. It also, on the flip side, happens to be one of the hardest things. Because we all can live in a state of denial. Because it's not fun to kind of look inside ourselves or look ourselves in the mirror and admit that maybe we're not working as hard as we could have. We didn't do what we were supposed to do between our hitting lessons and we lied about it. Um, or we're just not able to accept that I shot 10 strokes over what I normally do and we don't tell anybody. That's hiding from yourself. It's, it's what, what I call a lie of omission. And it's, it's only hurting us and, and again, it's a human trait, you know, so it's, it's important. What I want to challenge you to do is not beat yourself up and not even look at our mistakes, our flaws, our failures as things that are about us. There are things we do and there are behaviors that we engage in that aren't the best behaviors. But if we lie about it or we deny it and we keep burying our head to it, we're not going to get any better. There's a commercial that, that has been on uh, in the recent year about the whole United States, the United States of denial a, around the, the opiate crisis that many young people are using opiates and, and not just young people, but uh, people of all ages uh, abusing opiates. And, and many teachers and parents don't think that it's their kids and they don't have access to them. They don't know how to get them. They're not going to get addicted to them. But, Obviously, the statistics of what is going on in the country would say differently. So that's that state of denial, and it's very easy to get in that state because we don't want to feel maybe something inside of ourselves that we're not proud of, that we're not happy with. Let's say our effort. We don't give our best effort. It's not like we want to go brag about that and say, hey, I didn't you know, do my best today. I, I only gave 50% effort and be you know, running down the streets, you know, clamoring about that of how proud we are. So instead what we do is we kind of hide from it. Well, that hurts us, okay? It slows your progress. If you want to be the best golfer that you can become and you want to do so in the most efficient way, be honest. If you didn't do the work that your swing coach asked you to do, tell him or her, I didn't do it, my bad, I got to get better. Okay, um, many times I'll see uh, a lot of golfers go to their swing coaches and I'll be there right there with their swing coaches and they're trying to show that their swing is great or they're not really showing their true nature or they're not telling their swing coach their actual scores because they don't want to own those because it doesn't feel good. But that's exactly what gets in the way because then your swing coach can't help you because he or she doesn't know exactly what's happening. Or if, if when I'm working with my students, and, and whether it be from the tour level on down, if they're not telling me what's really going on, I can't help them. And then their progress is going to be slow. Maybe even their progress, they take, go backwards. So one of the things about honesty is it is so important, happens to be one of the hardest, but instead of approaching our flaws, our failures from a state of criticalness, how about from curiosity? Huh, instead of saying, you know, I'm such a weak person that I didn't practice for three days and I said I was going to, or I didn't do these drills, how about approaching it from a standpoint of curiosity? Like, what got in the way? What is happening in my life right now? Or what is it that I didn't practice? What is it that I am doing that is getting in my way? and that is causing me to continue this, this flaw or this failure. And look at it from a standpoint of curiosity because then you'll approach it and then you won't criticize yourself and then you'll accept it that, hey, we're all human 
but then you'll start moving towards it. You can work through it much more efficiently and quickly and therefore your game is gonna get better because you're not continuously hiding from a flaw, a weakness, or something that you feel ashamed of. So when it comes to your game, what I want you to know is just approach it with curiosity. When you make mistakes, ask yourself, huh, I wonder what happened there? Instead of kind of denying it to your swing coach that, oh, I played, I played pretty well, and just leave it at that. Say, no, I did well in these things, but these things I really struggled with, and I'm, I'm really curious as to what I can do better so that I can minimize these mistakes in the future. So again, honesty. Hardest thing we do, but also the most important. So start today. Be honest with yourself. Be curious. This is Dr. Todd Case. I'll see you next time.